Good evening. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the City and Kettering City Council. How's that? Today's date is September 13th, and we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for our invocation, O Holy One, thank you for your abundant blessings and surrounding us with stewardship and a supportive community in Kettering. We thank you for the ability to engage in useful work and for the honor of bearing these important responsibilities. We are grateful for your boundless love for all of us. Please continue to give us strength and compassion with which to serve and grant us the wisdom to make appropriate decisions. Help us remain humble and grateful for the opportunity to lead. Guide this council so that we may work in harmony while serving our citizens with integrity and purpose. Allow us to fulfill the responsibilities entrusted in us by our residents. Amen. Amen. Mayor Lehner does have an excused absence today. And I'll ask Mr. Klepas for a motion on our minutes, please. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'm going to take this in two batches. Uh, first is uh, I've reviewed the uh, minutes from the council meeting and the workshop of August 23rd, 2022. I find them both to be in order, and I move for their approval. Second. Second. Are there any questions or comments? If not, please call the roll. Mr. Klee? Yes. Mr. Klee pass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. Your Honor, I've also uh, reviewed the uh, minutes from the special meetings that were held on September the 8th, uh, September the 9th, and September the 10th, uh, 2022. Found all three to be in order and move for their approval. Second. Any comments or questions? Please call the roll. Mr. Kleepas? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Tuval? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. This evening we do have a presentation from Chris Mackey, who is from the Big Brothers Big Sisters. He's in charge of community impact and engagement. And we welcome you to the stage and to discuss your program. Council members and fellow citizens, thank you very much for having me. My name is Chris. I work for Big Brothers Big Sisters. We are a nonprofit mentoring organization that serves around 500 youth in Montgomery, Miami, Greene, and Preble counties. And I wanted to just start off very quickly by asking y'all, have you had someone in your life professionally or personally who served as a mentor or role model to you, who got you to where you are today. I want you to keep that in the back of your mind while I'm talking. Big Brothers Big Sisters creates and supports one-to-one -one mentoring relationships that ignite the power and promise of youth. And at Big Brothers Big Sisters, our vision, and I love our vision, is that all youth achieve their full potential. We want youth to be successful in life. So how do we go about doing that? We were started nationally in 1904, so we've been around a while. We came to Miami Valley in 1958. As I've said, we serve around 500 youth on an annual basis, and we are in a four-county service area. And we support youth through two primary programs. The first is our school-based program, which, as the title suggests, takes place in a school setting during the school year. And mentors and mentees, mentors are 18 and up, and they mentor youth who are in elementary or middle school, and they focus on educational activities while also developing a positive mentoring relationship and focusing on uh, academic goals and self-esteem goals, things like that. We also have a community-based program, which I'm gonna talk just a little bit more about today. And again, as that title suggests, takes place in a community setting. Uh, bigs who are ages 18, I'm sorry, 21 and up, are matched with kids who are usually about six to 14. They do fun, safe activities. So going fishing, 
playing board games, going and getting an ice cream or a cup of coffee and talking, while focusing on social, academic, or behavioral goals. We do ask that bigs and littles in our community program can meet for at least a year because it takes time to build up that mentoring relationship and also uh, because, um, sorry about that, um, and also because uh, we want youth who have had adults come in and out of their lives to um, have somebody who is that consistent positive role model for them. So a little bit about what bigs are, what littles are. Bigs are, first of all, safe. Youth safety is the absolute priority of big brothers, big sisters. Bigs are consistent. As I just mentioned, we've had kids, not all the kids in our program, but some kids have had adults come in and out of their lives. And so having that consistent presence in their life can be really important. Bigs are non-judgmental. They're positive. They're onboarded, screened, and trained. So what does I like to say? We're not going to just match you with a little and say, all right, good luck. We do have big brothers, big sisters, staff to support mentors and mentees as they progress in their mentoring relationship. Bigs are not saviors. They're not replacement parents or guardians. They're not professional therapists or professional social workers, although we invite folks like that to be a part of our program. Bigs are community members, anyone in this room who wants to make a difference in the life of a young person. Who are littles? So littles are kids in our four county service area, again, Mon Montgomery, Miami, Preble and Greene counties. They're kids who are typically about ages six to 18. When they're 18, they do graduate from the program. They're kids who want to have a mentor. And they are kids who come from diverse backgrounds. We have kids in the program who are part of a big family. And that family believes that that additional positive role model who can provide one-to-one -one attention to their child would be great. And then, as I said, there are also kids who have dealt with a lot in their young lives and so could use that role model. Bigs are the kids in our program, and bigs are also the 36 kids who are currently on the Big Brothers Big Sisters wait list. Wow. Some of these kids, these 36 kids have been waiting for over a year for a mentor. And so littles are Hunter, a 10-year-old male who wants to play football, get ice cream with his big brother, and has actually been waiting 713 days for a big brother. Little is a Rezekiah, a nine-year-old male who has had parents and a sibling come in, in and out of his life. And so again, having that consistent mentor will be very beneficial for him. Littles are all kids who have so much potential. At Big Brothers Big Sisters, we defend the potential of youth like the kids in our programs and the kids on our wait list. And we need everyone here to support our mission, whether it is through mentoring, or through sharing with friends, family, coworkers, that we have a need in our community to defend the potential of youth. From here, I have flyers, I have business cards, if anyone is interested in having them, but I thank you for your time, and if you do have any questions at the moment, I'm happy to answer them. Any questions? Chris, we really appreciate you coming to our meeting, and, uh, and I'm hoping that there's people that are watching this council um, today, and they're saying, I could really fulfill that need. So it's great that you're getting the word out. Cause Thank you very much. Fortunate there's 36 kids. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. All right, our next presentation is uh, Chief Robbins is going to handle for us. Thank you, Your Honor, and good evening. Please allow me to read a statement sent from the American Heart Association recognizing the men and women of the Kettering Fire Department for earning the American Heart Association Mission Lifeline 2022 EMS Gold Plus Performance Achievement Award. From the American Heart Association recognizes the critical life-saving role EMS provides to the overall success of STEMI systems of care. As an EMS agency that delivers education and STEMI identification, provides access to 12 lead, 12 lead EKG monitors and develops protocols derived from the ACC and the AHA STEMI guideline recommendations, Kettering Fire Department is driving improvements in the care and outcomes for STEMI patients. 
Kettering Fire Department joins more than 600 other EMS agencies in the U.S. and 100 other EMS agencies in Ohio that are receiving the 2022 American Heart Association Mission Lifeline EMS Performance Award. To achieve the Gold Plus Performance Achievement Award, the Kettering Fire Department achieved a 75% or higher compliance score for each specific EMS quality measure for 24 months. Today, we're celebrating life saves because of the hard work and dedication of the Kettering Fire Department and your hospital partners. The community served by the Kettering Fire Department should be very proud of their pre-hospital care professionals. On behalf of all the staff and volunteers of the American Heart Association, I would like to present the Kettering Fire, Kettering Fire Department with the American Heart Association Mission Lifeline 2022 EMS Gold Plus Performance Achievement Award. You need to abbreviate that or something. <laughs> Congratulations on your accomplishment. The American Heart Association launched the Mission Lifeline EMS Re Recognition Award in 2014. The men and women of Kettering Fire Department have earned the highest possible rating for each of the program's existence. Please allow me to introduce Kettering Firefighter Paramedic David Walker. David is here to receive the award as he is the person who does all the leg work which makes this award possible for the department. Thank you, David, for all your hard work and congratulations on this achievement. David has a statement that he's prepared to read as well. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. It's my honor to accept this award on behalf of the Kettering Firefighters. The American Heart Association recognizes medical crews for rapidly identifying patients with suspected heart attacks and properly caring for them. As Chief Robbins said, we are part of elite group. Out of 20,000 agencies all across America, we are one of 615 to re receive this award. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, our crews work tirelessly to provide emergency care to our community. And the Kettering Fire Department takes great pride in ensuring high quality patient care. We are passionate about doing our part in taking care of anyone who visits or lives in the city of Kettering. I'd like to thank Vice Mayor Fisher, City Council, and the citizens of Kettering for their continued support. Thank you. Thank, congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Thanks, Chief. It's a great honor. So I would like to give a shout out to Mike Saproni in the back. He does an excellent job of uh, bringing this meeting to you every single city council meeting. So thank you, Mike. We do not have any public hearings this evening. We will then move into our public comment on legislation. So anyone wishing to speak before council with comments or new information about the legislation on tonight's agenda may do so at this time. Each speaker is limited to five minutes. Speakers must state their name and address, and comments should be addressed to council. If you have other comments that are not on the legislation on tonight's agenda, there'll be an opportunity for those to be heard later in the meeting. Anyone have any comments about legislation? Seeing none, it looks like we have no second uh, readings this evening, so I'll look to uh, Mr. Klepas to start us off with some resolutions. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. I have a resolution this evening uh, authorizing the city manager to use competitive bargaining and negotiated quotes or an approved cooperative purchasing program to purchase playground equipment for Indian Riffle Park the estimated cost is $100,000. That is the amount budgeted. It's requested by our Parks, Recreation, and Culture Arts Department. I move for approval. Second. Mr. Schwederman. Thank you, Your Honor. We have a number of 2022 Capital Improvement Program resolutions this evening. Uh, this particular resolution is one of those. This will be the purchase of playground equipment at Indian Riffle Park for approximately $100,000. The equipment will include a two to five year old play structure, a two bay swing set, a friendship swing, and one multi-unit multi seesaw uh, and some surfacing of the playground equipment area. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Questions? Seeing none, please call the roll. Mr. Klepas? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to use competitive bargaining and negotiated quotes to contract for pressure washing, painting, roofing, 
and repair of equipment, amenities, and structures at various parks in Kettering. I move for approval. Oh, this is being requested by the Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Arts Department. The amount budget is $30,000. They're requesting $30,000, and now I move for approval. Second. Mr. Schwedenrin. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this request is for $30,000 uh, in miscellaneous uh, services for our Parks Department. The services include pressure washing, painting, roofing, and repair work of our amenities and structures throughout the citywide park system. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Please call the roll. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. Madam Vice Mayor, I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to contract with Broomball Construction for the purchase of new rooftop units for phase three of the Rosewood Art Center renovation project. Estimated cost 75,000, amount budgeted zero, requested by the Public Service Department. I move for approval. Second. Mr. Schwederman. Thank you, Your Honor. This resolution will allow us to uh, purchase two rooftop units uh, for the phase three at the Rosewood uh, Arts Center renovation project. The estimated cost of these rooftop units is $75,000. We are moving this project into 2022 to uh, enable us to take advantage of the additional lead time necessary to, to bring these products uh, to the city. Our hope is to purchase now and they'll be available uh, in the spring of 2023 as phase three of the Rosewood renovation project uh, progresses. The uh, additional funding in 2022 will equate to reduced funding in the 2023 uh, capital improvement budget as that 75,000 in 2023 will be removed since we're purchasing in 2022. Be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Seeing none, please call the roll. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to contract with LWC Incorporated for design and related services for the Rosewood Art Center Theater. The estimated cost is $57,000 and this is being requested by Parks, Recreation and Cultural Arts. I move for approval. Second. Mr. Schwederman. Thank you, Your Honor. LWC is the design firm for the Rosewood Project. The design of the theater uh, is now a funded project as it was contingent upon fundraising in the community through the Kettering Parks Foundation. Uh, now that those funds have been secured, uh, we need to complete the design and LWC uh, will be completing that design for us at a cost of 57,000. Again, the cost will be uh, recovered through the donations collected by the Parks Foundation. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Seeing none, please call the roll. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to use competitive bargaining and negotiated quotes to contract for improvements to the restroom facilities at State Farm Park. Estimated cost is $40,000. It is budgeted, requested by Public Service Department. I move for approval. Second. Mr. Schwederman. Thank you, Your Honor. A very self-explanatory uh, explanation. The restroom facilities at State Farm Park uh, will include the painting of ceilings and walls, the epoxy flooring system, new partitions, lighting, signage, uh, and plumbing upgrades, as well as additional amenities. So I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Seeing none, please call the roll. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution authorizing the city manager to use to, uh, competitive bargaining and negotiated quotes to contract for improvements to the shop floor, including electrical at the vehicle maintenance center. The estimated cost is $50,000. That is the amount budgeted requested by our public service department and move for approval. Second. Mr. Schwedman. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this project is uh, based upon some operational changes we'll be making at the VMC uh, as, far, as far as how things uh, are done in the repair of our equipment. Uh, so the floor, the shop floor improvements will include relocating some of the mechanic stations and creating more dedicated storage for tools and shop equipment and may also ultimately include new bay door. Uh, it also will also include electrical upgrades. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions? Seeing none, please call the roll. Mr. Klepes? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Mr. Scott? Yes. Ms. Duvall? Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. Your Honor, I have a resolution to amend resolution numbers 10525-21, 10696-22, 10697-23, 10698-25, 10710-26, 10711-26, 10712-26, 10713-26, 10714-26, 10715-26, 10716-26, 10717-26, 10718-26, 10719-26, 10720-26, 10721-26, 10722-26, 10723-26, 10724-26, 10725-26, 10726-26, 10727-26, 10728-26, 10729-26, 10730-26, 10731-26, 10732-26, 10733-26, 10734-26, 10735-26, 10736-26, 10737-26, 10738-26, 10739-26, 10740-26, 10741-26, 10742-26, 10743-26, 10745-26, 10746-26, 10747-26, 10748-26, 10749-26, 10750-26, 10751-26, 10752-26, 10753-26, 10754-26, 10755-26, 10756-26, 10757-26, 10758-26, 10769-26, 10770-26, 10771-26, 10772-26, 10773-26, 10774-26, 10775-26, 10776-26, 10777-26, 10778-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 10779-26, 
Yes. Mr. Duke? Yes. Mr. Kleepass? Yes. Mrs. Hall? Yes. Vice Mayor Fisher? Yes. We have no ordinances in the first reading and certificates and petitions, ma'am. Vice Mayor Fisher, we do not have any certifications or petitions this evening. We'll go to the manager's report, Mr. Schwederman. Thank you, Your Honor. We have just a few slides for tonight for the community update. Uh, the first is a reminder of an event coming up at Lincoln Park Civic Commons. Uh, EcoFest will be Saturday, September 17th at 11 a.m. again at Lincoln Park Civic Commons. So it's our first ever, um, and there'll be children's activity, gardening, live animals, and, and so much more. So we look forward to seeing everybody at EcoFest on Saturday. Our uh, very traditional and longstanding uh, program, Shred Day, is back Saturday, October 1st from 9 a.m. to noon. Uh, so residents uh, are asked to bring their shred material and they will be shredded on site uh, that particular day. Uh, we are moving the location uh, this year. We will not be in the parking lot of the Government Center. We are moving to the front parking lot of Fairmont High School. That gives us a little more room for the event uh, and uh, more space for queuing of vehicles as they wait to be serviced. And finally, uh, just a reminder, because it's getting close, uh, Beggar's Night will be Monday, October 31st from 6 to 8 p.m. Your Honor, that's all I have for you tonight for the community update. Be happy to answer any questions. Doesn't look like there's any questions. This time, um, if you'd like to come speak before City Council, please come down to the podium. Each speaker has five minute limit. Speakers are asked to state their name and address. Is there anyone that would like to speak this evening? Welcome our Boy Scout who's out there in the audience. Thank you for coming today. What troop, sir? 516, and you meet where? In Centerville. Okay. Welcome to Centerville. Kettering. Yeah. The better city, I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. Klebaz, it's time for our council reports. Uh, uh, thank you, Your Honor. Y you know, it all started back at Spasnock uh, earlier this summer and we escaped without rain that night. And it was the first time in many, many years. And it kind of continued on here in the last month with the block party on the, on the 30th. We had a great night for the block party, but well attended. All the holiday at home uh, uh, events uh, pretty much escaped the weather. There was some bad weather during the night, but otherwise it all escaped. So, and it was kind of hot, and the hot was bad at the block party because the first batch of dilly bars that we had were, fro were not frozen any longer, and we did have a little bit of trouble early on with the dilly bars. But th the city manager corrected the freezer problem, and all the bars were frozen after that first batch. So, yeah, made most people happy, but we did run out. Thanks to all council and, and staff that, uh, that worked that night. It was a great event, uh, great event for our city. Uh, a really, truly great event, once again, it's become an annual event, is the Kiwanis of uh, Kettering and Centerville uh, with their annual uh, Kiwanis uh, Police Officer of the Year. This year it was Kevin McGuire, Detective Kevin McGuire, well, well deserved and, and quite proud of Kevin. He's a great representative of our city and uh, thanks to the Kiwanis who uh, uh, provide that event every year. And last but not least, as it's always mentioned in our Kettering periodicals, when you have a choice, shop Kettering. Thank you, that's all I have. Ms. Hall? Yes, um, I just wanted to mention, and probably others will too, the Holiday at Home Parade and Gala, and thank everybody who put so much work into that. I think it was a tremendous success, and it was so much fun, and everyone really enjoyed it in the community. Also, I want to mention that I went to my daughter's, um, who's in the audience tonight, Van Buren School's orientation, and uh, was really impressed by the safety protocols. There is a full-time police officer in the school. The doors are always locked, and there's been additional surveillance cameras added to the school. So that really helped us to feel comfortable knowing that she's in good hands there. And then lastly, just want to give a shout out to Kettering football team. Um, they're having their homecoming game this Friday. They're three and one. They're playing Springboro this Friday and uh, it's homecoming. Just want to say go Firebirds. Excellent. Mr. Scott. Uh, I will echo the go Firebirds. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention holiday at home. 
Uh, obviously, it's a Kettering tradition since 1959. Uh, my first uh, impact with Holiday at Home was approximately 1968, was the first time I was aware of Holiday at Home as an elementary school student. But this past year was my first honor to ride as a council person. It is absolutely great to see all the citizens of Kettering and the surrounding communities who come enjoy the Holiday at Home parade as well as the other festivities. So it, it's a real good thing for Kettering, and I hope we always have that tradition. Thank you. Mr. Ball. Um, I will echo the comments about the block party and about Holiday at Home. Such great events. Uh, went off without a hitch. I enjoyed my time on the float. Um, I want to also thank Kiwanis for their, detect or for their Officer of the Year uh, um, ceremony. Detective McGuire is very, very deserving. It was a great night. So, and thank you to those of you who were able to attend. Um, this past weekend, the new class of the Kettering Leadership Academy attended um, the annual retreat for their class, and it was such a wonderful time. It was, it was, it's this group of people who are so impressive and so collaborative. It's a great start to this year's class. Um, I want to thank the facilitator, Dave Carr, and Don Kirshner and Nick Cerise in the volunteer office who put everything together. They did a wonderful, wonderful job. And of course, thank you to Mr. Duke for giving me the opportunity to be part of the program. And that's all I have. Thank you. Mr. Duke. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, it was a good uh, uh, block party and the taste and, of course, the Kiwanis of the year. Uh, holiday at home this year. Unfortunately, I was not able to be on the float, but I must say on television, you all looked great. <laughs> and it was well covered. Um, I do want to close with one sad note this evening. Uh, on September 2nd, uh, this community lost a 18-year uh, veteran of our police department, Michael J. Burke, passed away at the age of 54. Uh, Michael leaves behind Krista, his wife of 22 years, uh, and Aiden, uh, their, their son. Um, Mike joined the force in 2002. And he served our community, as I said, for 18 years in many capacities. And this is what uh, many of our, our police officers end up doing in their service to this community. Um, he was a road patrol officer, public information officer, accident investigator, SWAT negotiator, bike patrol officer, uh, and a detective. Uh, in his private life, uh, he attended St. Charles uh, Church and as a Eucharistic minister and a lector. Um, he had a great sense of humor for those that got to know him over the years, and he had an ability to be so kind to other people. Um, there was a, a, a massive Christian burial for him on September the 9th, uh, and if those that are interested that knew him cared to make donations, the Kettering Police Foundation are accepting those dollars as well as the ALS Association, and it was ALS that took his life at the age of 54. So our hearts go out to the family. Um, again, a great officer for our community, and I just wanted to share that with us. That's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you, and great job, Thank by you. the way. Well done. Uh, I'll bring up three things that weren't mentioned because. Uh, um First, uh, the mayor did do a ribbon cutting for We Care Arts, and they opened up a small storefront in the town and country, um, a way to help not only the clients uh, sell the things that they make in We Care Arts, but also have the opportunity to work with the public. And so it's a great thing that uh, we have now a new uh, storefront in town and country. Um, surprise, Ms. Duvall did not mention, there was also a 5K um, that was with that other school, Alder, um, on the same holiday weekend as uh, Holiday at Home. And um, I appreciate the Kiwanis and the work they do. Uh, they were raising money for um, not only the backpack program in Kettering, but the backpack program in Centerville. And uh, so what a great way for them to support both, both communities there. And um, I had an opportunity to play Dorwood Optimist for um, a couple of hours. I helped uh, my neighbor put up flags for Avenue of Flags. And I will tell 
you. Um, as a sus subscriber to the flag, I love coming out and seeing my flag and seeing the flags in my neighborhoods. And so if you get an opportunity to help one of your Dorwood friends, um, it's a lot of work uh, bending down and, and pulling those little tubes out and sticking the flag in and unrolling it and rolling it. And so uh, I appreciate that service that they do for our community. It makes our, our community very beautiful for all of our patriotic colonies. And with that, being there's no other further business to come before the City Council, our next meeting will be on September the 27th, and this meeting is adjourned.